By the end of this video, you'll learn how to create Hollywood style visual effects on a budget using generative video and After Effects. Let's dive into it. So by using Photoshop, After Effects, and Runway ML's Gen 3 Alpha, I'm gonna show you how to create some special effects for your scenes in a few easy clicks. Perfect for low budget filmmakers who want that bigger budget look. So I have my two clips in an After Effects composition. I'm gonna start with this scene. So I'll export a frame grab by going to Composition, Save Frame As, File, and opening this PSD into Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, I'm gonna use the Magnetic Lasso tool just to get a little rougher selection around my edges and create a nice big area here to create a sinkhole. Now with my area selected, I'll add my prompt. And I'll hit Generate. And just to get a few more options, I'll hit Generate again. And I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks pretty good. So from here, I'm gonna export a JPEG of the whole entire scene with the sinkhole and everything. And I'll export another JPEG of the scene without the sinkhole. Now jumping over to Runway ML, I'm gonna jump to the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo tool and I'll upload the before screenshot under first for first frame reference. And I'll upload the sinkhole under the last frame. In my prompt, I'm gonna make sure I specify that the camera is static. And I'll hit generate and it'll come back with something like this, exactly what I'm looking for. From here, I'll download this and I'll bring it back into After Effects. Now I'll bring the runway clip into my comp with the original clip and I'll make sure I match the camera shake of my main source clip. So I'll select the main clip and select Track and Stabilize, Track Camera. So that's gonna apply the 3D Camera Tracker effect. And once that's done analyzing, I'll select the area I wanna add my sinkhole to and I'll select Create Solid and Camera. Now I'll duplicate my sinkhole layer and I'll turn 3D on for the top layer and I'll parent my 3D version to the track solid while holding shift to have it change positions. And I'll change opacity on this and I'll use the duplicate layer underneath as a reference and I'll transform my 3D layer to the right original position. And I can get rid of my bottom 2D layer reference. From here, I'll mask out my sinkhole and I'll feather it nice. And here's our shot. Pretty cool, huh? Let's do another one. So I have a frame grab from this video clip in Photoshop, and I'm gonna use generative fill to create a gigantic UFO in the sky. So I'll select a portion of the sky here, and I'll add my prompt. Finding the perfect music for your content can be a headache. Trust me, I've sometimes spent hours searching for the perfect music track for my edits. But with Templar, the AI-powered music platform, it's fast, fun, and completely hassle-free. Check it out. Let's start with easy mode. I'll type in a prompt for an upbeat lo-fi hip hop track for educational content. And in seconds, it spits out a list of tracks ready to go. I'll choose this one is exactly what I was looking for. And just like that, the perfect track for my next tutorial. No stress, no waste of time. Let's have some more fun. I'll upload this picture of colorful monsters at a carnival. The platform will analyze it and find tracks that match the image perfectly. This first one they gave me sounds amazing. And there's so much more you could do, like expert mode for in-depth adjustments and more control over the music. So whether you're a YouTuber, filmmaker, or you just love making content, Templar makes royalty-free, customizable music easy. Visit the link below to check it out. This one looks good. Now I'll export this as a JPEG image, and I'll bring this into Runway again and I'll add a prompt attempting to have the camera with minimal motion so it could blend in. And I'll hit generate. And this looks pretty good. I mean, there's slight motion here, but against the sky, there's not really much parallax, so it should blend in really well with my scene. So I'll bring this in over my original clip and an After Effects comp. And I'm just gonna simply mask out my UFO here. And I'll bring a copy of my original clip on top and I'll feather it nice. And I'll add a quick luma key effect to maintain some of my clouds in front of the UFO. And I'll use a luma key to extract the windshield wipers and add that to the foreground. So there you have it, effects that would have taken hours with 3D rendering and compositing done in just a few clicks. Here's the final result. 